Let me talk about something I talked about earlier, Raging Bull. Uh, you played the former middleweight champion of the world in this motion picture, a fellow named Jake LaMotta, who was known as the Bronx Bull. Uh, Raging Bull, of course, was his story. But you trained for an entire year for this motion picture with him. And I understand it wasn't any uh, walking on eggshells business. This was pretty serious stuff. Is that right? Yeah, it was. I, where did you, where did you, how much training did you put in with him and, and what did it well, consist I, of? A we st <coughs> there's a gym in Manhattan on 14th Street, I don't know if you know, know it, but where uh, uh, it's a well-known gym and we used to go there every day and train and uh, and then we trained for about eight months and then we kept training but then started cho uh, choreographing the, the whole all the fight stuff uh -huh. for the, say the next four months or five months and um, I uh, learned with Jake and uh, the author of the book um, Pete Savage who's also the associate producer on the film mm. uh, and it was very hard work that's all I learned his style which is, is not the greatest style in the world but it's very effective yeah he bobs and weaves a lot did, did you have um, any fight training before this or prior no. to this time no well let me just tell you something we got as a quote from him he said that this is from Jake LaMotta himself, who taught you the style. He said that De Niro became so adept that um, he said, I suffered, this is LaMotta, four black eyes, my upper, my upper teeth caps were busted, cost United Artists $4,000 to get them redone. There was the surgery on my chin after Bobby hit me one that cost $500 or $600. Bobby is you. <laughs> I also fractured a rib, but that's an occupational hazard. I guess I'd rank Bobby in the top 20 middleweights, I swear. Did you know you had done that much damage to another man? No, I didn't do that much. He just, he likes to exaggerate, he gets excited. Ah, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's take a look at a scene. This is one of the fight scenes from Raging Bull, and this is Robert De Niro portraying Jake LaMotta. It's uh, pretty hefty stuff here. Have a look. LaMotta's taking terrible punishment on the ropes as Lucille bangs him with left and right to the head. Another left, another right to the jaw. And LaMotta turns around. He's been playing possum. He's got your steel hurt. He rips the right hand of the body. Lucille puts him the jaw. Another left to the right to the head. Lucille is wailing around the ring. The tight is turned. No question about it. And he wobbles into the ropes and goes down. Lucille is down. Starts the count. He's trying to get up. Six, seven. He'll never make it. Nine, ten. He's out. It is all over. He is knocked out. And Jake Lamada with 13 seconds left to go in the final round. These are some amazing scenes. Of course, we should tell most people that Raging Bull opens Thursday across Australia. Um, uh, in this, of course, um, you had to gain weight, lose weight, put on weight. I've heard you talk on other programs about all of this, so I don't really think that uh, we want to get into all the whys and wherefores. But did you have to do weightlifting and stuff to build yourself up, your body up, to, uh, to look like a middleweight champion? No, I, d <coughs> I didn't want to use weights because you get all pumped up, it's, and fighters don't use weights. Uh -huh. uh, I just wanted to look the way a fighter would look, and I did it through training. The way a fighter would train, um, I used uh, weights sparingly, only very, very little, and, and light ones at that, and, and not much, uh, because fighters don't use weights. You know, they, well, if they did, they'd get all tight and everything, and uh, um, so you don't use them. Listen, we got a little surprise for you. Uh, I thought this would be good to make a comparison, and you don't know how hard we worked at trying to put all of this together. We've actually got a piece of film here of uh, Jake LaMotta. I believe this is the real Jake LaMotta and uh, his fight with Sugar Ray Robinson. And mm -hmm. uh, it just might give you a little kick as well. I'm sure you've seen every piece of film there ever yeah, was about Jake yeah. LaMotta, but uh, for other people who may not have seen him in action or may not know what he's about, this is the real stuff. Now this is from the, the 50s, I suppose, early 50s, and uh, this is uh, Jake LaMotta, the former middleweight champion of the world. Have a look. Watch LaMotta really pour it on now. He corners Ray and throws everything he has at the welterweight champion. can take it as well as give it. Watch him come fighting back. Are they big on fights in Australia? Yeah, you are. Uh, that was, uh, that's the real Jake LaMotta, <laughs> and, and a good look at probably fighting what they say is pound for pound the best man to ever walk in a ring, Sugar Ray Robinson. Right. Yeah. Right. How many times they fight against each other? Six. 
Six, yeah. Uh, and Lamato was the only one to ever beat Robinson. Uh huh. But well, that's the last fight he lost. Um, uh, a brilliant supporting cast that you have there. Uh, this young lady, I understand, that plays the uh, the second wife of Jake Lamato, uh, Vicky. Yeah. Uh, Kathy Moriarty, right. is that her name? Right. They found her right off the street. Uh, that's a pretty unusual thing for you yeah, and we Martin. we picked her up selling peanuts. You're kidding, is that really? No, kidding. no. What, what was she doing? No, we, uh, the, the, uh, Joe Pesci, who plays my brother, um, while he was reading for the film, uh, called me one day and said, listen, uh, <clears throat> there's a girl up in, uh, up in the discotheque in Yonkers of the Bronx, I forget, <clears throat> and he said, I don't know, what she is, how smart she is, or how good she is, or what, but she looks perfect for the party, and uh, why don't, uh, you know, maybe see her if you want to see her. And <clears throat> I said, yeah, I have a call. So she did, and she turned out to be what she was, you know, perfect. Mm. And her instincts were terrific. Well, she had, she had never acted before. And no. It, uh, she talked about one particular scene there where uh, uh, she said that... Uh, they said they were going to roll the camera and that there was a, a sort of a violent thing there. You were supposed to slap her around or something. And right. she said nobody told her. And uh, they said, roll them and you hit her. Well, I smacked her, but a lot of times in films you can... Smack is nothing, you know, doesn't yeah. hurt that much. But it was good to surprise her. And, yeah. <laughs> uh, yes. and but, yeah. you know, that's, I mean, she had good instincts. That's a good example of good instincts. I mean, she wasn't... Uh, she didn't say, what the hell are you what doing? What are you doing? Like yeah. I mean, she went along with it. Yeah. And uh, she was smart enough to know to do that. Yeah. And... Um, okay. That was it. Hey, Robert, listen, I, I hear it's a great things about the movie. Good luck at the awards. How much do you... By the way, just one last question. I'm curious. Uh, the awards, um, Academy Awards, they mean a lot to you? Uh, or is it... It's something that comes with the business. Uh. Well, yeah, it's something that comes with it. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah. it's, it's nice to win and all that. I don't know. I have mixed feelings about it. And, um, yeah. you know, we see certain people win. And, and, and I mean, it's, it seems strange how that works. Mm. Um, it's nice to win, though, of course. Uh, well, it would be all right, if we, know, be all right if we pull for you to win, hey? Thank you. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Hey, listen, nice to talk to you, Robert. I hope you enjoy the rest of your stay here, and uh, I hope you come back again sometime. I'd like to see you in person. Sit down here next to me. We can have some laughs. Hey? All right, okay. Nice to talk to okay, you. Okay, take, take care. Take care, Robert. All right. Robert, come here. We'll be back with Tony Braddock. Pretty funny fellow. You'll enjoy it. Hang on. Thank you, Robert.